Do you make more money as an Uber driver and as a Lyft driver during the holidays? Short answer, absolutely. I'm gonna make this video pretty brief, but overall, if you have the opportunity, or let's say you're free, whatever the case is with your schedule, if you can drive during a holiday, you're gonna make significantly more money than let's say just a casual day. This is a list of some of the best and biggest holidays. This is on the ridetrickguide.com, which is a great resource for drivers. And some of these holidays, you can make absolute bank, especially as you can see with New Year's Eve, that night, it's gonna be insane for drivers. As a side note too, I feel like New Year's Eve is the most overhyped holiday. Every single time I'm planning New Year's Eve, I'm always like, wait, why would I spend 80 bucks to get to this random dive bar that gives me one shot at midnight for 80 bucks when it's typically free to get in? If you can drive on New Year's Eve, and as a side note, like I said, I think you should because it's the most overhyped holiday. I feel like I never really miss out on anything good on New Year's Eve, so you might as well go out and drive and make an insane amount of money. Now, when it comes to holidays, and this is getting more of the technical parts of making more money, I find it really comes down to two different types of holidays. One are holidays that are more based around partying and like a partying type culture. The other are more intimate holidays, if that's the right word for them. So when it comes to the partying holidays, I'm talking about like St. Patrick's Day, Cinco de Mayo, you know, a lot of those kind of holidays, people are usually partying pretty hard. They're taking Ubers and Lyfts because they're drinking, they're going out. Of course, it makes it a lot easier and a lot safer. This is also dependent on your city. For me, when I used to drive in Boston, as you can imagine, Boston and St. Patrick's Day, you can make so much money, not just from the surges, but from the bonuses as well. I've mentioned this story in a couple of other videos, but I remember on St. Patrick's Day one year in Boston, I got a text from Uber and they said, hey Mark, minimum $20 an hour guaranteed. And I was like, all right, not bad to know that no matter what, doesn't matter how much I make or little I make, at least I'm gonna make minimum 20 an hour. Then Lyft hit me up and said, hey Mark, we're actually doing a bonus this weekend. We're gonna give you 25 an hour minimum hourly guarantee. Then Uber came back and said, hey, we actually changed your mind. We're gonna bump it up to 30 an hour minimum hourly guarantee. So you can see they were kind of competing with each other. I believe, I think it was Uber that won that bidding war, so to speak. And it came out to be, I think it was like $45 an hour minimum hourly guarantee for the day of St. Patrick's Day. That is insane to know that no matter what, the minimum you can make is 45 an hour. Even if you only do one ride in that hour and it's a $5 ride, boom, you get bumped up to $45 an hour. As a side note, make sure you sign up with both apps. I've said that before, but anyway, when it comes to partying type holidays, there's a lot of bonuses, a lot of incentives to drive. Usually during those holidays, I find it's usually best to drive pretty much all day and night. For Cinco de Mayo, St. Patrick's Day, especially if it falls on like a weekend day, be prepared, it's gonna be a marathon day of driving. Now on the other side, when it comes to intimate holidays, I'm talking things like Christmas, Thanksgiving. I've personally found that during the day is actually the best time to drive. It's not as crazy and as hectic and chaotic as it is for let's say partying holidays, but I find on those intimate style holidays, there's still a lot of money to be made. I remember one year I drove during Thanksgiving and I remember thinking, well, it's Thanksgiving. Like who's gonna be taking an Uber or Lyft for Thanksgiving? But surprisingly, a lot of people, especially during the day, I found at night, it wasn't as popular, but during the day, surprisingly, there was pretty high surges. So that is something to keep in mind in terms of the strategy that I find when it comes to partying holidays, during the day and night, especially during the night, it's gonna be crazy and chaotic. During those intimate holidays, usually more during the day, is when you're gonna make the most amount of money. But overall, what it comes down to is this. If you have the opportunity, and if you're free, depending on your schedule, or just in general, if you feel like driving, driving during a holiday is an amazing way to make a lot of money.